great challenges that we addressed last year, and we've taken a much more conservative approach in planning inventory this year. But we're going to lean into those big seasonal moments and play to win when we know the consumer is looking for something that's new, looking for affordability, looking for that special item for the holiday season. Well, let's talk about something that you have been on the forefront, um, theft, when it comes to the stores. Um, you, know, you can call this shrinkage, you can call it whatever it is, but what it really is is organized criminal theft rings that are coming through. This is affecting every retailer. I think it was $112 billion that it was assumed to that's cost number. retail overall last year. But you've been, I, I think, the most vocal um, the most vocal critic of what's happening and saying that something needs to be done. We walk around the stores and you'll see that there are now signs that say you can't check out more than 10 items. You see some items that are locked behind glass and you have to wave your hand over to bring someone over to come get things open. You've taken a lot of steps to combat this, but where does the problem stand right now? Well, one Becky, we felt the need to use our voice to elevate awareness around this topic at both the national level at the state level and the local level. And sitting here today, one, I feel really good about the progress that's being made. Uh, big thanks to Matt Shea at NRF, Brian Dodge at RELA. We've elevated the conversation. And I think we're starting to see real progress. Um, the INFORM Act, which was passed earlier this year, will make it much more difficult for these groups to monetize the goods that they're stealing uh, by putting more focus on identifying yourself before you can sell in a marketplace. We're really pleased with how some of the local DAs have responded. I mean, our teams and other retail teams have actually been walking stores with local DAs to make sure they better understand the challenges we're facing. DAs who weren't necessarily prosecuting some of these crimes before? Or In how the much, past. So this is left up to them to say you've got to prosecute yeah, these things? And make sure they understand the challenge. So when I started talking about this, we certainly talked about the overall 